Agency Decisions for Environmental Legal Research at Boston College Law School. There are basically three types of agency decisions, formal adjudications, informal adjudications, and advisory opinions. Formal adjudications usually arise out of a dispute involving the interpretation or violation of enabling statutes or regulations. They are very much like cases in that they involve a trial-like hearing with witness testimony, a written record, and a final written decision prepared by an administrative law judge or an agency commissioner. ALJ decisions can usually be appealed to a higher entity within the agency called administrative review. Typically, these are not binding, only persuasive authority, but prior decisions have persuasive precedential value, so attorneys who practice before an agency can use the decisions. Parties to an administrative proceeding must exhaust administrative remedies before filing for relief in court. This is both to conserve court resources and also to defer to agency expertise. These agency decisions can be reported in official publications from federal agencies, like these decisions from the Federal Power Commission, the predecessor to the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. PDFs of these official reports are often available through Hein Online. Select the U.S. Federal Agency Documents, Decisions, and Appeals Library. It's easiest to browse by agencies. That way, you can see the various publications of that agency that are included in this library. The letter R is a link to a catalog record, sometimes called a mark record, and some publications have additional information linked by a question mark. This is the coverage statement for the de decisions from the Department of the Interior Board of Land Appeals. Formal adjudications can also be published in unofficial publications. Typically, these used to be list of services, like these FERC reports, which contain the decisions of the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. FERC reports, like other CCH publications, are now available through the CHEETA platform. Agency adjudications are now increasingly available on agency websites. For example, FERC provides access to the dockets of active cases, as well as initial decisions by the administrative law judge who presides over the hearing. A useful source on federal agency decisions is Blue Book Table 1, U.S. Official Administrative Agency Publications. While not exhaustive, it does provide information about the availability of, uh, of published decisions from a number of environmental agencies. The second type of agency decision making is the informal adjudication. Informal adjudication is a statutorily required decision making process that may or may not require a hearing and is neither formal adjudication nor rulemaking. Informal adjudications are governed by special statutory requirements or agencies' own regulations and are generally not reviewable by a court. This is the cover letter of the transmittal of an informal adjudication from the Department of Energy. Informal adjudications are conducted by presiding officers and not by independent administrative law judges. It could be a consent disposition between party and agency, which may or may not be written. It can be done by inspections, conferences, and negotiations, and these are often not publicly available. The third type of agency decision is called an advisory opinion. These can be in response to a question from a member of the public on how to interpret a statute or regulation, or an agency can issue a guidance document, which is an agency statement of general applicability and future effect, other than a regulatory action that sets forth a policy on a statutory, regulatory, or technical issue or interpretation of a statutory or regulatory issue. They are not binding on the agency. Advisory opinions are authoritative interpretations of statutes and regulations that indicate agency policy and expectations. Guidance documents are available from many of the major legal research platforms, but agency decisions and guidance are not always front and center. Here are some tips for finding environmental agency decisions on the major research platforms. On Westlaw, choose Practice Area, Energy, and Environment, then Administrative Decisions and Guidance. Both federal and state agencies are included here. You can also select a particular agency or type of decision or guidance to search. Here's an example of the types of decisions and guidance available from the Department of the Interior. And these are those from the Environmental Protection Agency. Some, but not all, agency decisions on Westlaw can be key cited. So be sure to look to see if there are any citing references available for the decisions you read on Westlaw. On Lexis Advance, choose Practice Area or Industry Environmental Law. Then all Environmental Law Administrative Materials. This includes state as well as federal agency materials. 
Lexis classifies energy and utilities law as a different practice area or industry. So choose that if you are looking for energy, oil, electricity, or gas. On Bloomberg Law, go to the Environment and Safety Practice Center and scroll down to Opinions and Dockets, which includes decisions of the Environmental Appeals Board, and Agency Materials, which includes documents from the Environmental Protection Agency. EPA documents include Clean Air Act, applicability determinations, and a variety of policy statements and agency guidance. Federal Energy Regulatory Commission materials include FERC orders and opinions, letter orders, and guidance and interpretation, such as memoranda of understandings, no action letters, and policy statements. The Environmental Law Reporter from the Environmental Law Institute has decisions from the EPA Environmental Appeals Board and EPA Administrative Law Judge RICRA decisions, as well as guidance and policy documents under its Administrative Law tab. As was said earlier, many federal agencies now post their administrative decisions on their web pages. A very useful finding aid has been prepared by the University of Virginia Library. Here's an, an example of the links it provides for agency decisions and guidance from the EPA. State agencies also post their decisions on the web. Massachusetts has a convenient list of links to recent state agency decisions maintained by the Massachusetts Trial Court Libraries. We can see that the Mass DEP has appeals decisions from 2010 to date, as well as a collection of non-final environmental decisions by the Division of Administrative Law Appeals. Older documents from the DEP are available from the Social Law Library in Boston. Again, remember to come in through the alphabetical list of databases to be authenticated as a subscribing user. If you need environmental decisions from other states, try looking for a state-specific research guide to determine which databases are likely to contain that state's agency decisions.